Welcome to our deep dive into the world of influence. In this video, we'll be exploring the six fundamental principles that shape our interactions and decisions. Each principle taps into a fundamental aspect of human nature, offering insights into how we make decisions and how others influence us. So buckle up and stay tuned for some fascinating insights into the power of influence. Have you ever wondered how some people seem to have a magnetic pull effortlessly persuading others towards their way of thinking? Well, that's the power of influence, a force that shapes our day-to-day -day interactions and decisions. It's the subtle thread that weaves through our conversations, our relationships and our choices. Influence is not about manipulation or coercion, it's about understanding human behavior, about tapping into our shared instincts and patterns. It's about harnessing the power of persuasion to create a positive impact, whether in our personal lives or the wider world. A renowned psychologist and influence expert, Robert Cialdini, identified six fundamental principles or weapons of influence. These are reciprocity, commitment and consistency, social proof, authority, liking and scarcity. Each principle taps into a fundamental aspect of human nature, offering insights into how we make decisions and how others influence us. Reciprocity is about giving and receiving, about the human instinct to return a favour. Commitment and consistency are about our desire for stability and predictability, about the power of sticking to our guns. Social proof is about our tendency to follow the crowd and to trust the judgement of others. Authority is about our respect for expertise and power. Liking is about our preference for people we find appealing. Scarcity is about our fear of missing out, our desire for what's rare or exclusive. Understanding these principles can be a game-changer, offering a roadmap to navigate the complex world of human behaviour. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These principles are not tools for manipulation, but guidelines for ethical persuasion. The power of influence is the power to shape reality. Ever felt compelled to return a favour? That's the rule of reciprocity at work. Imagine you're at a party, and someone you barely know offers you a drink. Suddenly, you feel an unspoken obligation to return the favour somehow. This is the rule of reciprocity in action, a powerful psychological tool that influences our daily interactions, whether we realise it or not. The rule of reciprocity, in essence, dictates that we are naturally driven to return favours or gestures of kindness. It's a deeply ingrained social norm stemming from our instinctual desire for balance and fairness. When someone does something nice for us, we feel compelled to reciprocate, to restore that balance. But here's where it gets interesting. This rule isn't just a social quirk. It's a tool that can be used to influence others. Savvy marketers, negotiators and leaders understand this principle and utilize it to their advantage. They might offer something of value first, such as a free sample or a piece of advice, knowing that the recipient will feel obligated to return the favour. The rule of reciprocity can be a force for good, fostering mutual respect and cooperation. However, it can also be manipulated, used to coerce or deceive. It's important to recognise when the rule of reciprocity is being used this way and make conscious decisions about how we respond. So the next time you reach into your pocket to return a favour, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, are you acting out of genuine gratitude or being influenced by the rule of reciprocity? Keep in mind that in the world of influence, you get what you give. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the world of influence, you'll love our other videos exploring the human mind. Our channel is a treasure trove of wisdom and insight, unraveling the intricacies of human psychology and behavior. So why wait? Dive in and let your curiosity lead the way. Stay curious and keep exploring. Do you pride yourself on being consistent? That's a powerful tool for influence. Welcome to the realm of the principle of commitment and consistency. This principle is deeply rooted in our psychological makeup and plays a significant role in how we make decisions. It's all about our desire to be and appear consistent with what we have already done or said. Once we make a choice or take a stand, we encounter personal and interpersonal pressure to behave consistently with that commitment. Once activated, it's a mindset that can have astonishing power over our actions. This principle is often used as a tool for influence. Think about it. 
Have you ever found yourself sticking to a decision just because you've publicly expressed it, even when new information suggests you might be wrong? That's the principle of commitment and consistency at work. It's a powerful mechanism that can be leveraged to sway opinions, change behaviours and even shape societies. The psychological explanation behind this principle is quite simple. Our brains love consistency. It provides a sense of order and predictability, two things that make life much easier to navigate. When we behave in ways consistent with our beliefs and values, it reinforces our self-image and provides a sense of integrity. This principle can be seen in action in many areas of life. For instance, a small initial commitment can be used to encourage larger purchases in sales, or in politics, where politicians often make public pledges to increase the pressure to follow through. But it's important to remember that while the principle of commitment and consistency can be a powerful tool for influence, it can also lead us astray. It can cause us to stick to our guns when it would be wiser to change course. So while it's a valuable tool, it should be used with care. When we commit to an idea or goal, we are more likely to stick with it, a fact that can be used to sway minds. Respect for authority, liking someone, and the fear of missing out. Three more powerful tools in the influencer's arsenal. Let's delve into these principles and their psychological bases. First, we have the principle of authority. We're programmed to respect authority figures. This is ingrained in us from childhood when we learn to listen to our parents, teachers and other authority figures. As we grow older, this instinct doesn't go away. It's why we're more likely to listen to a doctor's advice or follow a policeman's orders. For influencers, establishing themselves as an authority in their field can be a potent tool. It can lead to trust and respect, which in turn can influence behavior and decisions. Next, we come to the principle of liking. It's a simple truth that we're more likely to be influenced by people we like. This could be because they're similar to us, because they complement us, or because we associate them with positive things. Influencers can use this principle by building a rapport with their audience, showing empathy and creating a positive association. Finally, there's the principle of scarcity. This principle is rooted in our fear of missing out. We place a higher value on things that are rare or hard to come by. This can be seen in limited time offers or exclusive deals. These create a sense of urgency that can influence people to act quickly. Each of these principles taps into our basic human instincts and emotions. Authority appeals to our respect for hierarchy and expertise. Liking taps into our desire for social connection. And scarcity feeds on our fear of missing out and our passion for exclusivity. But it's important to remember that these principles can be used for both good and evil. They can be used to inform and guide, but they can also be used to manipulate and control. Influence is everywhere, and understanding these principles can help us navigate the world more effectively. Have you ever followed the crowd because you weren't sure what to do? That's the power of social proof. Human beings are social creatures. We look to others to guide our behavior, especially in situations where we're uncertain. This principle of social proof in action is a powerful psychological phenomenon and an influential tool. So what exactly is social proof? Picture yourself in a foreign city, searching for a place to eat. You spot two restaurants side by side. One is bustling with patrons while the other is practically deserted. Instinctively, you're drawn to the crowded place. That's social proof. We assume that if many people are doing something, it must be the right thing. But it's not just about following the crowd. Social proof can also come from the endorsement of credible experts, celebrities or even our peers. When a renowned chef recommends a particular brand of olive oil, or when a friend raves about a new movie, we're more inclined to try them out. We value their opinions and trust their judgment. Social proof leverages our inherent desire for social validation. We want to fit in, be accepted and often be right. And so, we look to others for cues on what to think, feel and do. But here's where it gets interesting. As an influence tool, social proof can be strategically used to guide people's behaviour. Businesses use testimonials and reviews to boost their credibility. Politicians use polls to show their popularity. Social media platforms use likes and shares to indicate content value. 
These are all examples of social proof in action, subtly nudging us toward a certain decision or behavior. However, it's crucial to remember that with power comes responsibility. Misusing social proof can lead to herd mentality, where critical thinking takes a back seat to conformity. It can perpetuate harmful norms and misinformation. Therefore, when using social proof as an influence tool, it's essential to use it ethically and responsibly. Social proof is a powerful influence tool. Use it wisely, and you can guide others towards your thinking. As we've traversed the world of influence, we've explored the power of reciprocity, the principle of commitment and consistency, the authority, liking and scarcity principles, and the power of social proof. These principles don't just exist in theory, they shape our everyday behavior and decisions, often without us even realizing it. It's fascinating to see how these principles, rooted in our essential human nature, play out in our daily interactions and relationships.